Oh, hey guys, it's Bossafin, and I'm going to do a quick TTM mail day recap. Well, I guess it's not recap because I haven't shown anything. Um, update video on just what I've gotten back over the last week and a half, week or so. Um, I have five returns that I want to show off. And we'll get looking at them. See who I get. And I also had one mail day and a trade I made on Sports Collectors Net, and I'll show that one off too. There's the envelopes. Here's my trade. It's for my all-time Red Sox collection, Kevin Pillar. Um, I traded a Lou Merloni 95 Bowman. They had gotten in person for this. Um, I haven't updated the 2020 terrible roster yet, but he will be added, so he's brand new to the Red Sox collection. Obviously going for 100% of the all-time Red Sox, which is probably impossible. Uh, first TTM return comes from... Oh, before I do that. Uh, nobody has claimed the Frank Tanani yet. Somebody claimed it in a comment, but then never emailed me their uh, address. So that is still up for grabs. If anyone wants a free Frank Tanana, just send me your address. Um, it's my channel name, bossinfin at gmail.com. And I will put it in a PWE and get it out to you. So first UTM comes back from Tom Needenfuer. Needenfuer? I don't know. Needenfuer is how I've always pronounced it. Um, he had a couple good years with the Dodgers. Came up in 81. Um, see if it shows it here and, and had a pretty good rookie season 381 ERA um, and I believe that postseason he went scoreless or maybe in the World Series or the playoffs so he signed in black and 83 Fleer really nicely in 87 tops also nicely in 88 tops there's a crease there don't know if that was there to start an 87 Fleer and an 84 tops so we're going to showcase the 84 tops and I think I'm going to keep all those because those are all unique to my collection. I've sent to him before, um, so he's not brand new. <clears throat> but that's okay. It's been a while. I don't send to them like right away. I usually wait about a year. Uh, number two is a brand new to my collection. It's Lamar Johnson. Played for the White Sox. He actually had a game in, I think, 1977 where he sang the national anthem for the game and then proceeded to hit two home runs. And the White Sox won the game 2-1. to one. So it was essentially Lamar Johnson Day. So he signed a 77, which is a set I semi-collect. He signed a 78, the 1980, his 81 in those weird White Sox uniforms, and then an 83 Donruss. That's awesome. So 77 is a set hit. And I've been sitting on those cards for quite a while and just never sending them. And finally took a look, and he was signing, and... This one I haven't ripped yet. It shows you how much I prep. So this one is Bill Swift. Um, decent pitcher for a lot of years. Um, led the league in ERA in 1992 in the National League and then won 20 games for the 93 Giants. Um, and if anyone's old enough, you remember that pennant race that came down to the last day. Braves played the Rockies and blew them out and Giants played the Dodgers and the Dodgers blew them out on a rookie Mike Piazza home run is one of the things I watched that game from my friend's backyard back den um, so he's signed a 93 upper deck that came out nicely in blue um, this was what prompted me it's the 88 tops traded wait is that the tops traded yeah that's weird so he was on Mariners earlier where'd he go then I don't know that's weird because he's on the Mariners in 87 he didn't get traded anywhere, went to Calgary, which I assume is minor leagues, and now he's on the 88 traded, maybe because he got called up. Um, and then, of course, I sent the great 85 tops. Um, and then a very smudged stadium club. So I'm going to put that out as a freebie if anyone wants a smudged Bill Swift. Um, you can claim both or one of those two. They can both fit in one top loader, then I'm happy to send both to the same person. I didn't... Ooh, someone take this. These two came in the last couple days, so I didn't pre-rip them. And this is former Patriot Pro Marv Cook. So you can't really see it. It's very kind of a dying black Sharpie. So he was a decent tight end for the Patriots when they were awful. Um, and then he was replaced after 1992 or so by Ben Coates, who completely outshadowed him. Um, and so Marv Cook is largely forgotten here in New England. 
Um, and I'm glad he signed the Pro Bowl card. I sent four cards. He signed the three that I wanted the most. So I'm glad for that. And he kept one. He's I sent to him one other time, and the same thing happened. He signed one or two and kept the other ones. Um, so he's a forgotten Patriot only because someone much better replaced him at the same position, and he played for the, a one in twelve Patriots team, for example. So or one in fifteen, not one in twelve. Gosh. Um, and then the last return of the week is Mark Thurmond. So I sent him two cards, and he sent signed only one. At least it was the 84 tops. I thought that he was signing two, but that's fine. Um, he's brand new to my collection as well, so that makes two newbies this week. Um, and 84 is another one that I, I don't particularly collect, but I just have a ton of 84 tops, so I tend to use that to send out. Um, so overall, I think a pretty decent week. Um... I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm glad I got a set hit. I love the Patriots one. And I'm always glad, again, to take cards out of my common box. And one of these days I have to show you my organization. But common box to an autograph card into the collection is, is always a good thing. Um, please leave comments below. Let me know how you do. Link me to your TTM videos so that I can watch them as well. I'll sub if I haven't already. Um, and like I always say, guys, just please, as you enjoy your hobby, please stay healthy.